Hallihallo everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Family Park. Last time we finally got the will, but it can't be read because yeah everything is in binary. So since there are this such is all an... in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Yes, and we have um the chart, we have the computer. All we need is a better programming language to help us with it, and we have one for it. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. Very good, so let's use the will. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. I wonder if it was ironic. So let's see. Oh, it doesn't really help, does it? Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Huh. That's interesting. So let's... First of all, I saw this one. What is this? It's a red gel decoder. Red, eh? I think I know what I use it for. And second, what is up with this? Uh, the crypts of uh, Chuck's will. Find and use Uncle Chuck's lum lum uh, lucky number. Get a fumble berry pie for the lawyer. Yeah, okay. I think I know where we have to go next. And that is Chuck's room. Maybe we, where we find something. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Check register. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. Shelves. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Scope. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Let's see. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Maybe can I can look at the box. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Well, then open it. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Maybe here? Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. What about the check re register? It's Uncle Chuck's check register. Can I pick it up? I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Okay. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Uh, maybe I just have to ask her sister. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Is it Ray? Ray is gone. We... Ray is gone. Okay, that's not good. You know what? Let's, let's just take a look. Can we get inside there? Okay. Nothing to see here. That's not good, I guess. Ray was captured again. Uh, last time it was just randomly, I think. But this time it's... Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Um... Uh, Let's go back to Dolores. Let's talk to her sister. Maybe she knows um, Chuck's lucky number. And we have to get some pie. Hey, Doug. Digging! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? Alright, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. 
Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Huh. Oh, maybe he knows about this. Diggin! No, I can't do anything with him. Okay, let's talk to her sister, or maybe he knows about it. Yes, Dolores, do you have a question about your uncle's stipulations? No. Here's the decrypted will. Let me see. Dolores, this is all hex gobbledygook. You haven't fully decoded it yet. Yes, Dolores, do you have a question about your uncle's stipulations? Yeah, why the pie? Why thimbleberry pie? You know how much your Uncle Chuck loved Thimbleberry Pie. He just wanted to create a celebratory atmosphere. Oh. Why do we have to meet in his tomb? He was so proud of how his tomb turned out. He wanted you all to enjoy it. It also sets the proper mood for a reading of the will, don't you think? Uh, well, okay. Well, you can say over oh, oh, Chuck what you won't, but, um, he knew Bye. what style was. I have some work to do. See you later, Dolores. I'll be right here. Have you got everything ready for the reading of the will? I want to get my money and leave this cesspool of a town. Yeah. Do you happen to remember Uncle Chuck's favorite number? How can you not know Uncle Chuck's favorite number? It made him an extra million dollars. None of which you'll see, my sweet little sister. I guess I shouldn't be surprised you don't remember what happened. Do you happen to remember Uncle Chuck's favorite number? How can you not know Uncle Chuck's favorite number? It made him an extra uh, million just say dollars. The... None of which you'll see, my sweet little sister. I guess I shouldn't be surprised you don't remember what happened. So no help from here. here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Okay. You need for Lucky Lumber. Where could you play Lotso? Wait. Maybe you can go to a quick pearl and. Because that's the only um, place where I could think of someone playing Lotso. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Yeah, I want to talk to you. Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. Ah, oh, he's a good guy. So let's talk about everything. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. Huh. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. At least someone who finds uh, who thinks it's good. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT. Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. Is it Ransom? Yeah, it's Ransom. Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. Good luck, buddy. You will need it. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barftastic. Oh, he's such a nice guy. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. A little bit simple-minded, but a nice guy. I'd play it if it were a sure thing. 
Okay, can I open this box? I can't open that. Let me know if I can help you with it. I can't push that. I can't pull that. Can I use it? That doesn't seem to work. No. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything with it. How about that sunset? Oh, can I pick it up? Take it. It's another sample from the traveling animal repellent salesman. Didn't I already have one of those? Or am I wrong? Maybe I can get one for each character. Except Ray, who is now gone. I wonder how it happened. Okay, where else could I maybe find out what Chuck's lucky number was? Maybe here. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. Oh, that was another reference to Maniac Mansion, I think. Because in Maniac Mansion you also have to di distract someone and they forked, or, or, or it was Edna. I think Edwin was the family's name. Hello, safely first saving. Or Edinson. Your money is in our hands. And she also thought you would do. Um, are, you, are you coming on to me? Yeah, obscene comedy. These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. Uh, let's talk to him. How can I help, Miss Edmund? Can I still access the family safe deposit box? I'm afraid not. Your uncle had your access revoked shortly after you left town. I guess you can't tell me if my dad made any withdrawals or deposits in the last couple of weeks either? No. That would be a breach of our client's confidentiality. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, that's true. Do I still have a checking account here? I've been cashing my checks at the convenience store because I was pretty sure my uncle had control of my accounts. Your uncle did close all accounts associated with your name. I see. Oh, that's bad. What kind of credit can a game developer get? <laughs> that's a good one. Uh... Oh, you aren't kidding. Well, you could get one of our basic federal beige credit cards with a $100 limit and an APR of 1,232%. No way, Jose. I think I'll pass. I think I will need um, access to the safe. How are things at the bank? Very well. Thank you for asking, Miss Edmund. I thought maybe with all those businesses closing, the bank might be struggling a little? Oh, not at all. Your uncle had more than enough for us to weather the town's economic downturn. I wasn't aware Uncle Chuck was doing so well. Interesting. I mean, the pillow factory was closed for years. True, but in his final years, your uncle began liquidating several valuable assets. It was more than enough to keep him afloat. Huh. What assets did my uncle liquidate? I couldn't possibly say, Miss Edmund. Bank client confidentiality and all. Maybe you'll find out more about it at the will reading. Maybe. Yeah, we need Goodbye, some pie and stuff. Come back soon, Miss Edmund. What's this? It looks like the old key to the factory, but I can't be sure in this light. Oh, and we want this. Okay. You have to distract this guy somehow. Is this an obscene phone call? No, I mean this is me leaving. Rad moon tonight. Okay, what's next? Oh, wait. Let's uh, get the pie. Welcome to the S and D diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? Yes. Do you have a thimbleberry pie? Sorry, there haven't been thimbleberries in Thimbleweed County for years. Your uncle Chuck, rest his soul, ate every last one of them. <laughs> he did like his thimbleberry pie. Whoa. I changed my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. We know where to get some um, berries, but um, we don't know how to get them without... Oh, she's back? Like nothing happened? Anything at all? She also doesn't say anything. Let's talk to Willie. I'm innocent. We got a confession. 
You're swinging, murder boy. You were a watch repairman. Yep. The best thimbleweed I'd ever seen. Society's elites come from all over the county get their fiddle plucked or their cogs cranked by old Willie. Gross. You couldn't have been very good at your job. Well, I was a watching violin repairman to the stars. My clients were the creme de la creme of the county. When Chuck Edmund blacklisted me, all my A-list clients dried up. Poor guy. Oh, she doesn't like him. Don't try to deny your crimes now, you creep. But I didn't do it, I swear. Uh, the only man I ever wanted to kill is Chuck Edmund. He's already dead. So, you admit you have murderous fantasies. Seems pretty cut and dry to me. Well, who doesn't have them? Um... If you didn't do it, why did you confess? I was scared and confused. When you pulled that good cop, bad cop stuff on me, I'd have said anything to make it stop. I'm just a humble watching violin repair man to the stars. I'm not used to your big city torture techniques. Well, actually, you're um, just a hobo right now. I'm still not buying it, murder boy. The Arrestron doesn't make mistakes. That hunk of junk is in cahoots with whoever set me up. You ask anyone, and they'll tell you, old Willie wouldn't hurt a fly. He might be able to manipulate these small town hicks, but that crap won't work on me. I hope you rot, murder scum. Oh, it's pretty cold blooded from her. How are you feeling, scumbag? How am I feeling? How am I feeling? I'm mad as hell, that's how I'm feeling. You agents locked me away when I did nothing wrong. Got to go, murder boy. Get bent. Okay, we can't expect help from her. What happened with her? Let's see. I hate this town. What happens if we talk to him? I... I mean, we... need to get into that factory. Agreed. Maybe the others will help. Or we could force them. We have badges. Oh dear. Do you think I come across as mean and sarcastic? Well, maybe just a little. Good. Sorry to hear about your dad being framed. Most of my life has been about this moment and proving he didn't start the factory fire. Oh, poor guy. Good job catching the killer. I have my doubts about Wheelie being the killer. Interesting. Oh, that's nasty, nasty. No, no. Uh, so let's say. Don't this. worry. At some point, you stop caring. I don't think you're taking this seriously, Agent Ray. Really? What clued you in? Okay. I've had enough chatting. We also have a badge? Maybe the badge will help somehow. But I just had an idea. Maybe... Another certain person knows about the lucky number, or at least where we, how we could get the... Check. Um... Find, find it out because I bet it was a big sensation. Hello, Dolores. I think I need no. to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Bye, Natalie. It's the best. This revival music is driving town folk mad. There. One hundred and seven. Yes, there it is. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. 
Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Where, where it is? 107. Now what are we going to do? Can the Lowe's do something about it? Let's go back to the mansion. Maybe we have to go at her computer and then find and where and find out where what uh, the world actually means. But that has to take uh, that has to wait until next time. But let's at least go into a room. And next time we try to find out um, what this will means. Maybe we'll also find out what happened to how, what happened to Ray. It's a big mystery. Uh, maybe she is also some sort of cyborg or I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And um, see you next time. Goodbye and have a nice day to more Fimmelweed Park. A lot of mysteries going on.